Hello from Five Job the Five Biology video number thirteen page number seven. Okay, new title. Mendel second law. So for the last previous video, we talked about Mendel first law, monohybrid inheritance. But now we change our title. Mendel second law. Mendel, his inheritance theory, the second law. Dihybrid inheritance. Or what's mean by dihybrid inheritance? For my understands, 我自己的了解了 Dih mean two, hybrid mean mix together 啦 Okay, so how the two type traits, how the two type characteristics inherited to the next generation? 两种的特征，两种的特性，怎样遗传给下一代 Okay, for example, I'm tall and handsome. Tall and handsome. How my tall and my handsome? Transfer or inheritance to the next generations. 这种叫 dihybrid inheritance. 两种的特征，两种的 area 了，两种的特性是怎样遗传给下一代。So the main the second law of inheritance, and the law is called the law of independent assortments. Or what's mean by the law of independent assortments? Okay, if I translate myself, I never check Google. Ah, 我没有这个 Google， 我自己自己翻译就可以了。The law of independent assortments 就是 okay， 乱乱自由乱乱排的法则啦，自由乱乱排乱乱遗传的法则。Step that. So what the law say? 这个 law 讲什么呢？它就是讲 when you inherit. Okay, when you transfer the two type trait to the new generation, 当你把你两种特征传给下一代的时候，这两种特征其实是乱乱传下去的。所以叫 independent assumptions， 它没有规定的，它可以乱来的。所以它讲什么呢 ？Two or more pair of areas segregates independently one another during the formation of gametes. So when you making the gametes， 当你做新的 gametes， 要把特征传给下一代的时候。Two or more pair of area, 两对或者是更多对的 area， 不管是怎么的特性，不管是怎么的特征 ，they going to separate or segregate independently one another. 这些特征其实不需要粘在一起的，他们可以自由的乱乱排，自由的乱乱传给下一代。Or what's the meaning? 什么意思呢 ？Don't know. Don't know. Try to understand. 呢，若不明白 ，try to understand. 明白就可以了。Or remember, this sentence is important. 这一句话非常重要。When you go exam pass year, you need to write this sentence again and again. So after you understand, you can write this sentence easily. 呢，明白过后自然会写这一句话。And the process, 明白的过程不需要太在意呢。But today, very lucky we are online. 我们是 online 的方法。不明白再看再想。以前在课室不明白哈。不明白就不明白 ，OK？ 所以看你喜欢 online 还是课室了。For me， 我真的是喜欢读书的，读书人，我认为 online 会比较好了 ，OK？ 来、like, ，try to understand only 啊。For example， still remember you？ 你还记得你吗 ？OK？ So your father is short and your mother is tall. Finally, you follow your mother because tall is more dominant. So you are tall， 你是高的。And when your father is black and your mother is white, every day, so find a black black hair will be more dominant. So you will be black hair, and this is you. So 就是你来的，对不对？还记得吗 ？Okay. Or another meaning. Now we having two pair of area. 我们有两种的 area. Okay, 就是 short and tall, black and white. 头发的 black and white 跟那个你的身高 tall and short， 是不是两种的 area? And now you become mature. 对不对 ？You making the gametes. So during the making of gametes, the homologous chromosome going to separate them. 这两个一样的染色体呢，将会被分开。Okay. So one one of them going to become one gametes or become half bright. Another one going to become another gametes or become half bright. But the problem is here. So when they separate the chromosome, 当他把你的染色体分开的时候 ，short and black 啊 ，they must be joined together or not? 你传给下一代的时候，一定传矮跟黑吗 ？Or maybe your another gametes must be tall and white. So tall and white should they join together? 它应该一定要粘在一起的嘛 ？Or they can be separate easily? 还是它可以分开的呢？ Okay, or I can tell you. Basically, lah, I can tell you. When you making the new gametes, the gamete can be short and black. The first gametes, it can be white or red. And the second gametes, then you make the second gametes, second type gametes, it can be tall and white. It can be tall and white. 
But do you know, actually, you also making another game is that is short and wide. 你也可能做出新的生殖细胞 and the the gene inside 啊 is short and wide. 它可能是矮又白咯 Okay, or maybe your gametes can carry the genes. Okay, with the characteristic, with the area black and tall, 它也可能是 black and tall 的 Or another meaning, the area short and tall. Okay, the area short 啊 and the black. Actually, they should they may be joined together. They can be independently separate. 它也可以独立的被分开它想要怎样就怎样，不代表这粒这粒精子它矮。精子嘞，谁啦？精子是卵子，不知道。它矮跟黑不一定要代表，不代表一定要粘在一起，它们可以分开。所、so, 以你的 single m a t e 可能是矮又高，哎，可能是矮又白，可能是黑又高，可能是矮又黑，可能是高又白，什么可能性都可以。But why？ 为什么呢？不明白，对不对 ？Try to understand more. I give you more example. Okay. So now I having two cats. Well, 两只的猫 I talk in Chinese better lah. 你比较快，我讲的比较快了。我有两只猫 Okay, 短尾白猫跟长尾可可猫。短尾白猫跟长尾可可猫 So when they having the reproduction, 他们生殖过后 Okay, short tail and white fur must be joined together or not? 白尾巴哎，短尾巴跟白猫永远一定要粘在一起的吗 ？It is not necessary. 不可能。可能它可以拆开的。Long tail and brown fur， 长尾巴跟可可毛一定要连在一起的吗？其实没有必要的，它们可以独立的被分开。So independence the assortments 就是独立的另外排过被分开。So after the cross， after the first generation and second generation， you can see the offspring it can be like this。它的后代啊，可能就是短尾白毛。跟他妈妈一模一样，可能的。Or maybe the new offspring can be long tail brown fur. 它也可能是长尾跟可可毛，还是老样子，对不对 ？And remember, they also can become something like this: short tail and brown fur. 它也可以是短尾跟可可毛。哎，长尾跟可可怎么分开了呢？它可以乱乱分开的。什么特征？什么耳裂跟什么耳裂？它们之间是没有关系的。它要遗传到哪一种是乱乱来的。OK, or the cat can be what? 它也可以是长尾白毛，也可以的。所、so, 以长白毛不一定要跟短尾在一起的。The the so the one or more pair, two or more pair or three can be independent, the assorted 可以独立的被乱乱分开的。But how? 怎样独立的被分开呢？这个才奇怪，对不对？怎么会乱乱分开去了呢 ？So this is what you need to understand in the new video, lah. In another video. Okay, so so for this deep video, I've spent almost seven minutes or eight minutes. Okay, finally, 只想告诉你什么叫独立的被分开。So area area, okay, 不一定要连在一起的。我高，我头发又黑，不代表我以后的后代一定要高又黑，一定要连在一起，它可以乱乱来的，乱乱翻来翻去的。Okay, but why? Next video lah. See you in the next video. Bye bye.